Okay, so lesson three is on rotations. And rotation is exactly um, what you think about or what you think of when you see a rotation. And so rotation is a turn around a fixed point called the center of rotation. Um, the rotation, the figure rotates at a specific angle and direction. Um, so the angle could be like mm, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 100, or 270, 270 degrees. And the direction could be clockwise or counterclockwise. And so we are going to focus on the rules for counterclockwise. And we'll see too that you can always take clockwise and put it in counterclockwise. So we're gonna be doing um, counterclockwise. Um, though the figure can rotate around any fixed point, the most common center of rotation is the origin. Okay, so the most common one is the origin. We're only gonna look at rotations around the origin for this lesson. All right, so rules for rotating points about the origin. So again, I said we were gonna focus on counterclockwise, okay? So counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Um, when you rotate, Counterclockwise, you just need to know that, remember clockwise, the clock goes in this direction. Counterclockwise is in this direction. So a 90 degree counterclockwise is just going to go to the, um, the, what I'm saying, it's just gonna go to the, um, to the left. Okay, so it's gonna to go to the left one time for 90 degrees. It's going to go to the left twice. I'm trying to say quadrant. So it's uh, 90 degrees is gonna go to um, the left one quadrant, 180 is gonna go to the left two quadrants and then 270 is going to go to the left three quadrants. And of course, the next thing would be 360. Um, we're not gonna look at 360 because 360 is gonna put it right back into the same spot, okay? So 90 degrees counterclockwise has a rule. And that rule is if our coordinates are x, y, then for a 90 degree rotation, we're gonna change the coordinates to negative y, x. And so this is what you need to remember for a 90 degrees counterclockwise. For 180 degrees, we take the coordinates and we just do the negative of those coordinates. So pretty simple. And then um, for a 270 degrees counterclockwise, we take the original coordinates, we flip the X and Y, but this time the X is gonna be negative. So those are the three rules for um, rotations. So, I'm gonna do two examples. Well, I'll do the first three with y'all and I'll ask y'all to do some like partner wise and then you will do um, some on your own and I will give y'all the answer key to this. All right, so for instance, number one, we have triangle well, ABC with vertices um, two, seven, six, five and four, one. So of course we have to draw the pre-image and then we're going to 
draw the new image and we have to write the uh, new images coordinates. So our pre-image is a triangle ABC with vertices A, at 2, 7. So that's, remember this is the X, Y, so that's up to and over 7. So here's A. Sorry, um, the X value is 2 and the Y value is seven. So that would put it here. So over two up seven. So here's A and then B would be over six. Up five. And C would be over four. Up one. All right, so that's our pre-image. And then we're just gonna rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you can go back to your rule. And what you see is that we flip the X and Y values and make this first value negative. So let's start off by flipping the X and Y values. So for A, instead of two, seven, it's gonna be seven, two. For B, instead of six, five, it's gonna be five, six. And for C, instead of four, one, it's gonna be one, four. And then we just gotta remember that that first value or the Y value then that we switch is changing. So instead of positive seven, this will be negative, this will be negative, and this will be negative. But remember, it's a nine degrees counterclockwise. So if it starts in this, origin or this quadrant here our new image should be in this quadrant so let's see we have negative seven negative two or negative seven two which would be here so this would be a prime and b prime would be negative five up six. And C would be negative one, up four. Two, five. And so here's our new triangle that was rotated 90 degrees clockwise, which like I said, makes sense because it should end up one quadrant to the left. All right, for number two, we have um, a 180 degree rotation. And so remember I said for this 180 degrees is gonna go to the, um, go two quadrants to the left. So if it starts here, it would end in this quadrant or if it started in this quadrant, it would end in that quadrant, the opposite quadrant. Um, if it started in this quadrant, it would end in this quadrant. So let's see what quadrant starts with. So we got a square, PQRS, um, vertices two, six. So over two, up six is P over six. up five, I mean, yes, over six, up five is Q, over five, up one is R, 
and over one up two is S. So this makes a square PQRS and that is our pre-image. And so now we just gotta um, do the image. And so since it's a 180 degree rotation, we expect it to be in this quadrant. So all that happens, remember, is the values are now negative with a 180 degree rotation. So for P, instead of two six, it's gonna be negative two, negative six. So we do the opposite numbers for each of these. Q was six, five. So we're gonna do negative six, negative five. R was five, one. So we're gonna do negative five, negative one. S was one, two. So we're gonna do negative one, negative two. All right, so let's take a peek at that. So um, P prime would be at negative two plus the left two and down six. Um, Q would be to the left six and down negative five. R would be to the left five and down one. And S would be to the left one and down two. And so this does, this is that square rotated 180 degrees and it's in the quadrant that we expect it to be in. Okay, the last one, number three, this is a 270 degree counterclockwise. So right here, I want you to pause the video for about two minutes and draw the original image. So you can pause the video here. All right, so your pre-image should look like this. Um, raise your hand if you got this pre-image, JKLM. And it's in this first quadrant. So we know that this is a 270 degree counterclockwise. So how many um, quadrants should it move? Should it move one quadrant, two quadrants, or three quadrants? So 270 degrees is gonna move three quadrants. So we expect our image to be in this quadrant. So again, there's rules for this um, with a 270 degrees counterclockwise, our values are gonna switch, right? And then instead of the first value returning to the opposite, or in this case, these are all positive, so they would be negatives, it's gonna be the second number, okay? So this one is XY turns into y negative x. And again, we expect it to be in this quadrant. So let's see, j was three, four. So now it's gonna be four, three. k was six, four. So now it's gonna be four, six. l was eight, one. So now it's going to be one, eight. And m was one, one. So it's still gonna be one, one. But we gotta change this x value to be negative or the opposite. So the opposite of three is negative three, it's negative six, negative eight, and negative one. All right, so now that we have the new coordinates, I want you to try um, drawing the new image here and seeing what 
quadrant it ends up in. So take about two minutes to draw your new image. You can pause the video now. All right, raise your hand if you got this new image. It should be in this quadrant, quadrant four. And you can see how it's rotated, how this goes and ends up in the front to the right. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to try numbers four and five with a partner at your desk, and then six, seven, and eight on your own. So you're gonna do four and five with a partner at your desk. Pay attention to those rules. And then six, seven, and eight on your own. Um, you can pause the video now, and then when I'm done, I will show the answers. Well, when you're done, I will show you the answers. All right, here's the answers to number four. So for number four, it was a 180-degree rotation. And the image started in this quadrant. And so we know the, the pre-image started in that quadrant. So the image was gonna be in this quadrant. So raise your hand if you got um, the images in the correct quadrant. All right, and then just remember with the coordinates, if it's 180 degree rotation, it goes from X, Y to negative X, negative Y. And so this right here is really what matters. You just change the sign of all the coordinates. For number five, which you should have done with your partner, it was a 270 degree counterclockwise. The image started in this quadrant, quadrant two. And so we know 270 is going to take it a total of three. Um, it's gonna go three quadrants, almost back to the original image. Um, and so with this 270 degree, our coordinates go from X, Y to Y, X, but um, the X value is negative. So these flipped, all of the quadrants flipped and the, these values turn to the opposite side. Raise your hand if you got five correct, you and your partner. All right, here is six. Our image started in quadrant three and it was a 90 degree counterclockwise. So it just went one quadrant over to the right. And the rule is from X, Y, we go to Y, X, and we do the opposite of the Y value. For seven, you have your image and your pre-image. This was 180 degrees. So our image started here and we know with 180, it goes to diagonal. So it started in quadrant one, but we're now in quadrant three. And 180, all we do is go from X, Y to negative X, negative Y. And for number eight, 270 counterclockwise. So our um, original image or pre-image should have started um, in this quadrant four and then rotated three quadrants 
to quadrant three and 270 counterclockwise, xy turns to yx, but the x value is negative. All right, for this next page, 9, 10, 11, 12, I did not want you to graph the pre-image or the image. I only want you to go through, look at the different rotations and type in the new coordinates. So you're gonna do the coordinates for all of these, but you don't have to graph them. And I will show the answers for these. Take about um, five or six minutes. You can pause the video. Take about five or six minutes on the pause and just fill these coordinates in from the, what you know about the rotations. All right, you can check your coordinates here. Remember, you did not have to graph anything. I just wanted you to focus on the coordinates. I want you to raise your hand if you're able to get all of these. All right, so at any time, if you forgot the rules, you could go back and look at them. So the last thing we have for rotations is sometimes they give you clockwise examples. And so it's pretty simple with clockwise. All you're gonna do is figure out counterclockwise. So let's say for instance, we have an image here and um, it says 90 degrees clockwise. So a 90 degrees clockwise rotation would put our new image, because clockwise is this way. So we put our new image in this quadrant. So we just find the equivalent counterclockwise. So if we were going, this is 90 degrees clockwise. So this would be how many degrees counterclockwise? And if you said 270 degrees counterclockwise, that's correct. So we're just gonna cross out clockwise and write it as counterclockwise, okay? Um, so also for number 14, we have 270 degrees clockwise. So let's say our image started here and 270 degrees clockwise, um, clockwise is this way, that would put the image here. Okay, so 270 clockwise, we move it three rotations going to the right, which is how many um, counterclockwise? So what's that rotation counterclockwise? So if you said this is a 90 degrees counterclockwise, then you are correct. So that's the big thing here. If they give you clockwise, just put in counterclockwise. So now what I want you to do is to take three minutes um, with your partner and fill in these coordinates. You do not have to graph these images, but I want you to fill in these coordinates now that you know the equivalent counterclockwise, okay? So you just gotta pay attention. If it's clockwise, make sure you turn it to counterclockwise. So pause the video here and take three minutes to do those coordinates with your partner. All right, raise your hand if you and your partner were able to get um, these coordinates. All right, that's it. So that is lesson three on rotations. And just remember, um, you have these rules and we need to memorize those in order to understand. Um, remember, we're gonna do these three angles, but we wanna stick with counterclockwise, okay?